Okay, uh, as you can see, Mandy was having some issues with this uh, file here. Um, and what she was having uh, was, was some white was cutting out. And she said that she had traced it. I hadn't looked at the file. Uh, she was kind enough to send the file to me and uh, take a little look at it real quick. And then also, you know, she's also kind enough for me or allowing me to share it with you. So hopefully somebody else can get some benefit from it if they're having the same problems or issues as well. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I did was... Um, now, I don't normally work in Silhouette, uh, but uh, I do test in it. Uh, I do work in Adobe Illustrator, so, you know, there's just multiple things. But So please bear with me and as we go through this, and I'll show you what I did really quick. Okay, I'm going to go to Portrait Mode, okay, and I'm just going to select all those, and I'm going to rotate those uh, files there, and there are those images there, okay, and then I'm going to come up here in my Move Tool. And we're going to put those right inside those registration marks. Okay. Now, these are uh, JPEGs that she created, and I believe it was, I think she said in Photoshop Elements uh, 11. So um, that was kind of kind of nice. Neat little tags here that she created. Now, once I got the file and I looked at it, I see um, what she meant about tracing. She actually traced right around the uh, tag itself and she did a marvelous job uh, really phenomenal job in that that's that's a lot of time I'm sure it probably took for her but um, but what she really needs to do is she needs to create a bleed um, so I'm going to show you how I did that really quick for her. Uh, I'm actually going to go to my scale tool here and um, you can see that this is two and a half inches of 2.5 by 2.5 and what I did was this was at a hundred percent originally okay so I just added three percent and then I'm going to hit apply. Okay, so I'm going to increase that by 3%. And you can see that that went out there. Now you're going to be able to see that a little bit better here. And you can see the red line. And uh, the red line stayed there, but uh, again, I just clicked the JPEG image or the image that she had here and I increased that by 3%. And I just went ahead and did that to all those. So that was pretty, pretty easy for her to, to do. Um, and you know, just something to kind of keep in mind that uh, you know, not all our printers are are 100% uh, accurate. That's why they do have those bleed features. And uh, but you know, our cut lines are going to be you know super accurate. So I hope this is a help for other people. Um, and I, I know Mandy is gonna gonna really enjoy uh, being able to cut this great file. Again, thank you, Mandy, and uh, thank you, Group, for allowing me to to help you. Uh, if you have any other questions, if I got the time, I'll be more than willing to help you. So. Uh, Thank you again and have a great day.